so remember, these are rotation and resupply mission, right? So you have mm -hmm. to not only bring in food, but you have to bring in replacement troops and remove right. the troops that are there. So how do those troops get out during an airdrop? So mm -hmm. that's I mean, one of those things that we have to think about. Uh, moreover, you know, airdrops can only deliver so much to, yeah, I mean, it, it, it takes a lot. It, it's, it, you can fit less on a plane than you can generally on a boat. Um, right. So, however, I, I do think that it's good that the Philippines is thinking outside the box. I mm -hmm. think that there's probably other, that there's probably additional uh, outside the box innovative thinking that needs to happen. I think that um, because, I mean, as we say, the Sierra Madre is not necessarily going to last much longer. We just don't mm -hmm. know if, if the the journalists who who uh, sent back the pictures and the video, you know, that ship is clearly structurally unsound. And who knows right. what one large storm could do? Who knows when the end may come? And so the Philippines, uh, together with its American ally, uh, need to be actively engaged in planning for what happens next. Mm -hmm. And Ray, how can the Philippines make this resupply mission safer, at least for those involved, not only for uh, the members of the Coast Guard, members of the Philippine Navy, but even for the journalists who are embedded as we try to cover this resupply missions? Well, so you know, this is not a standard maritime safety problem. This mm -hmm. is a blockade run, right? And running a blockade is not a safe activity. So mm -hmm. I, I applaud and uh, admire the Philippine journalists who have uh, volunteered to go out on these missions. Um, you know, as you mentioned, they could easily end up in a place at some point where they put they're put at great risk. Uh, mm -hmm. I also applaud and admire the 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 brave work of the uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines and the, and the Philippine Coast Guard who are out there doing the blockade run. Mm -hmm. So uh you know they they know what they signed up for and you know those of us who have ever you know taken the oath and and and, and served in a military or a or a coast guard or even an embedded journalist know what we're getting into and i think that probably you know this level of danger is just going to be baked in um mm -hmm. and making it safer at the expense of you know giving ground is not necessarily a great you know, outcome for the Philippines.